Romans chapter 15 verse 4 For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But we're God's so people here for a bear. And look, man, hey, we're at the end of this thing, you know? I would rock that we be of that number that to endure and to make it out of this thing. No woman will be kind of worthy to escape all the judgment that's coming down the pipeline. Because guess what? It's coming. It's here. But more judgment is coming. And only judgment is coming, right? I mean, you still got the mockers. You still got the scoffers. You know, and the non-believers. Threatening the man of the Lord. You know. Popping up at the campsites. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You don't know what you're talking about. All weird weirdos, you know? From the middle class Malone to these false Israelite groups and camps and things of that nature. Bless is he that read it. See, we already know according to the scriptures. They did the ancient man of the Lord the same way they do the true man of the Lord. It's on the scene there. See, that's fine. Bless is he that read it. You go into the scripture, you see exactly how the men of the Lord were being treated by their own people and by these heathens. It's 2020. Look at what's going on right about them. Who's being treated exactly like the scripture said they would be getting treated in the last days? Once again, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For what sort of things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope what gives us hope in the midst of all this nonsense all in the midst of all this chaos in the midst of all this mocking in the midst of all these scoffers what gives us hope the scriptures look you reap what you sow right you reap what you sow you mock I mean do you really think mocking and scoffing is going to get you delivered that, that's a that's a question you should be asking yourself. Because wherever your treasure is, that's where, that's where your mind will be also. Coming from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. The word heart. Go back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. The energy you put out there, it will come back. St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. They mock and they scoff us, you know what I'm saying? They hate the true men of the Lord. Look, they hate the truth. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know the only thing that we're doing is teaching the 100% truth according to the Bible. We're not doing nothing else. And, and y'all hate it. Why? Because the world loves his own. You know? He, he that is of the world, heareth them. He that is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, heareth us. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Let's take it to the streets, man. Put your gloves on. Let's do something. Let's do something. Because they know they can't, they can't handle you in the scriptures. You know? And when they shall separate, separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. For the son of man, sake, and that's what these scoffers and these mockers do. They cast out our name as evil. They call evil good, and they call good evil. That's exactly what they're doing. All that was written for our learning, right? Rejoice in that day. Look, when then once again, you gotta have thick skin. The apostles always say this saying: You gotta have thick skin to be a man of the Lord. Can't let every, you know, saying. Every little thing that someone says about you or to you rub you the wrong way. You gotta have thick skin. Cause look, cause, cause we already know some come them she bears gonna come out the cut. Them she bears gonna come out the cut. Them different calamities are gonna come out the cut. Them bad times are gonna come out the cut and get the majority of our people in these heathens, man. You know? Rejoice in that day. And leap for joy, 
For behold, your reward is great in heaven. If you're being mocked there, scoffed there, ridiculed, reproached for the Son of Man's sake, then rejoice. You're being called all, all kind of manner of names. Rejoice, man. Rejoice. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For for in like for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So the way that the apostles and the elders of great millstone and the men on down are being treated right about now. Do you know the ancient prophets, according to the scriptures, were treated the same way? And there's nothing new up under the sun. The men of the Lord was treated like shit back in the ancient days, thousands of years ago. The men that you see on the highways and byways, they look great millstone. And you got a couple of camps affiliated with great millstone. Everyone hates them. They say we're a problem, we're a nuisance. We're like gnats. They say we're getting on their nerves, right? The scripture said when they start doing that, when they start acting a certain way, they rejoice. Because in like manner did they to the real prophets, right? Right? Jumping down, verse 26, Luke chapter 6, verse 26. War unto you, destruction unto you. When all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Nobody won't mock and scoff in the false prophets. Remember that, Israel. People are not mocking and scoffing or separating themselves from the false prophets. Now you look around. And so did their look look what did the scripture say again? Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. This is the Lord speaking is written in red. Lord Yahweh who they even call Jesus, right? For so did their fathers to the false prophets. So of course the false prophets were spoken well about, right? They spoke well of the false prophets. Yeah. But the real prophets, they mocked them, they scoffed them, they ridiculed them, they separated themselves from them, they tried to kill them and everything. They wanted to fight them every time you turned around. The, the false prophets want to fight the real prophets. All that was written for our learning. Come on now. They reproached the men of the Lord. You, you see where this is going. If you're looking at what's going on, if, if a spiritual man judges of all things, do you see where we're going with this? You should look, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear, right? The she bears will come out, soon come. All hell will break loose, and these mockers and these scoffers are going to be looking for the men of the Lord. They're going to be looking for their oil. They're going to be looking for their oil, because they ain't got no oil in their lamps. This is Second Chronicles. Chapter 36. Verse 16, but they mocked, they made fun of the men of the Lord, they ridiculed them. No, you look up that word mock, this is the word mock. You had the no class Malone, the vocab Malone, the Cherry Whites, you know, the um, Jada producers, you know, these false prophets. The word mock, to tease or laugh at. You know, in a scornful and contemptuous manner to ridicule, you know, to scorn, to make fun of, right? To taunt, to tease. And look, that, that's what they do. To make something seem laughable, unreal, or impossible, right? Is that not what they do to the men of the Lord? Look, they, they scoffed at the Lord when he was on the scene. They scoffed at Lord Yahweh Shai when he was on the scene. And the service not greater than his master. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. The only thing we want to do is give them the word. They mocked us though, right? And despised his words. They despised the words of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai that we brought to him. They hated the words of the Lord. And misused his prophets, remember? They wanted to fight them. They killed some of them, or they killed damn near all of them. Back in the ancient times, these are the same spirits that's coming back right now, revealing, and the Lord is revealing who they are. They, they, they want to kill the men of the Lord. 
because we were rebuking according to every look we do every second timothy four and two remember preach the word be instant in season out of season rebuke reprove you know exhort with all long suffering and doctrine these people don't want to hear the doctrine though they just want to come up with their own madness so they're, they're going to mock the messengers of the lord and they're going to misuse the prophets of yahweh these people got blood on their hands man until the wrath look look they did all this until the wrath of the lord yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy that's what's coming the wrath of the lord that's what's coming you misuse the prophets you mocked at them you scoffed at them all hell broke loose and all hell is breaking loose you know we're in the midst of Jacob's trouble and you had the prophets of the Lord warning our people to get right with the God of the Bible but then you got people still mocking still scoffing look trying to harm the men of the Lord say look saying all kind of manner of, of wickedness about the men of the Lord out in the open and you know you know most definitely saying a whole lot of nonsense behind the scene second Ezra chapter 15 verse 3 fear not the imagination against thee these people are imagining some vain things they're imagining some things that they want to do to the men of the Lord the scriptures say don't fear all that let not the incredulity mean an unbelief we bring out the truth these people don't believe it let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee they mock and scoff and speak against the men of the Lord right for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness remember that all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness and that's what's coming death you know there's a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death like like scoffing and mocking is really going to get you somewhere it's going to put you on an early grave my man you know judgment is coming destruction is coming Proverbs chapter 19 verse 25 smite a scorner what does the word smite mean the word smite means to kill smite a scorner and the simple will be where then when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh start judging when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai start judging you false prophets and you mockers you scoffers it's going to make the other Israelites I mean in a horrible fashion too that's going to make, you know what I'm saying, some of you Israelites repent and shut your damn mouth. That's what's going to happen. But somebody's got to get judged first. They got to see some judgment come upon these mockers and these scoffers. You know? The scriptures have been told us what? Follow not a multitude to do evil, right? But until something happens, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they're going to keep doing what they got to do. They're going to keep mocking. They're going to keep laughing. They're going to keep scoffing. You know, they're going to keep threatening. All the above, right? But smite a scorner. And the simple will beware and reprove one that have understanding and he will understand knowledge you know so once the guy of the Bible start judging the majority of these mockers and these scoffers some of the people that's actually listening to them are gonna get the hell away from them, man. And they're gonna start taking heed to the words that you have about Shemir Rashad because if not, then they're gonna receive judgment. They're going to receive judgment through the spirit of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. And look, and all of that was written for our learning. Everything we're reading was written for our learning, man. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. You know, we're living in the last days, other last days. You got scoffers everywhere, man. They just popping up out the cut. Snakes in the grass, right? Look, the Lord is the lawnmower, though. You know snakes can't hide if it ain't no grass. You cut the grass, you start seeing all the snakes, right? Know this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lust, walking after their own desire, 
Okay, doing what they want to do. They ain't going to do what the scriptures commanding you to do. They're going to do what they want to do. And anytime you say something about it, according to the scriptures, then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. As soon as you rebuke, as soon as you correct with the scriptures, then you try to build them right back up, but you, you know it's a problem then. St. Matthew 12, 36, but I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, the mocking, the scoffing, all that nonsense, right? The idle talk, right? What do you say? An idle mind is the devil's uh, workshop. You got too much, the majority of people got too much time on your hands to do all this folly, right? Look, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Remember that. That every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And that's what's coming, judgment. You have Bashmel Shah is about to judge you people on the face of the earth. A harsh judgment too. Since the day of the Lord is cruel, full of wrath and darkness and no brightness in it, man. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You know? It says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So the words that you speak, it better be according to the Bible. Because that's what's going to justify you. Because if you're not speaking according to this Bible... You can dim your own self, man. All right? And you have a bunch of shots gonna make a move on you people real soon. Real soon. He gonna hit you where it hurts, man. The Lord is not mocked. Let's get that. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Your howl is not mocked. You mocking the men of the Lord, but you can't mock the Lord. You mocking dignitaries, man. You know? You you actually mocking the service, man. That you have about Shemar Shai sent forth to get your message. You look, you actually threatening the service of your how about Shemar Shai. You know the Lord don't take that lightly. Look, you, you know the Lord don't take lightly with that right there, man. You got people actually talking about harming the men of the Lord. You know? Once again, Revelation chapter 6 verse 7, be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. You can't make fun of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Right? Oh, as men. Look, look, look. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know the saying goes, you reap what you sow. Whatever energy you throw out there, remember it's going to come back to you. It's going to come back to you. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Who's the priest? The messengers from Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the prophets. They should keep knowledge. Which, which starts off with the fear of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Look, the children of Israel should seek the law at the prophet's mouth. Because the Lord gave them the word, right? For he is the messenger of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, power of hosts. Now, the Lord sent forth his messengers. And the only thing, look, look, the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, sent forth messengers. And the only thing you can do is scoff at him, mock at him, try to fight him, try to kill him, try to do something to him, try to get him locked up. The Lord don't take that lightly, my man. You trying to do something to the messengers that the Lord sent unto you? Rising early? Telling you to repent? To turn back to your how about Shemiah was shot? Look, look, the Lord looks at you. You Israelites better repent. You Israelites better repent, man. It says, it says, it says strike for the stripes for the back of fools, man. Stripes are being prepared for the back of fools, man. You mockers and you scuffers, do you not know what the God of the Bible actually got planned for you? And then the thing about it, you can't even escape it, man. Let's get this. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 27, verse 28. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. 
You see these people mocking and scoffing, they're very prideful. And what the scripture say, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, right? Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, right? Mockery and reproach. Because it said the men, look, the men of the Lord are going to be reproached. It's going to say, happy are you. When men shall separate you from their company, you, look, you shall be reproached. You're going to be mocked at. You're going to be scoffed at. People are going to try to kill you. All for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, right? Mockery and reproach are from the proud. But vengeance, listen, all you mockers, all you scholars, you, you say you want to do something, right? You want to do something to the man, put on your gloves, do something. You want to do something to the man of the Lord, right? But vengeance, not love, mocking and scoffing, guess what? Vengeance as a lion shall lie and wait for them, man. Vengeance and only vengeance and more vengeance of being prepared for mockers and scoffers. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare. The Lord will trap you up. You want to see the men of the Lord fall? You want to see them get trapped up? You want to see them get locked up? You want to see them die? You, you, you rejoicing at the fall of the righteous, aka the elect of the nation of Israel, nor will be part of that number, Lord's will, Abaratazan. They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare, in anguish shall consume them before they die. Look, anguish, anguish. And look, the Lord said, before you get taken off the earth, you false prophets, you mockers, you scoffers, you no class Malones, you cherry lights, you know what I'm saying? The Jada Producer, James White, and whoever else out there is laying in the cut, mocking and scoffing at the men of the Lord, you Nate Snakeums, all y'all, man. The Lord said, anguish is going to come upon you. And the definition for anguish is a noun, severe mental of physical pain or suffering. That's what you false prophets are about to experience. That's what you non-believers are about to experience, man. Suffering, man. Agony, pain, torment, torture, suffer. Basically, the tribulation. The Lord's going to bring hell upon you, right? Distress, misery, grief, unhappiness, woe, which means destruction. You know? To be extremely distressed about something. You're going to be stressed the hell out soon come. You mind that the men of the Lord, you took it as a light thing. You got the Bible how you stress the hell out, man. All right? You know how you stress the hell out, man. Remember, you mock the messengers of the Lord. You despise the words of your high by Shemel Shai. Look, today was no remedy. You misuse his prophets. False accusations. You slandered the men of the Lord. You, you threw, man. You threw. And anguish shall consume them before they die. This is all the judgments from your how about Shimei You know? Follow not a multitude to do evil. Follow not a multitude to do evil. Israel, turn back to your how about Shimei Jude verse 17 but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles remember Romans 15 and 4 the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning he says which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shai how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk out of their own ungodly lust all right look look these be they who separate themselves sensually having not the spirit they ain't got the spirit they ain't got the recalcal dash on them right but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith Faith-based Israelites, right? Praying in the Holy Spirit. 
keeping yourselves in the love of Yahweh, looking for the mercy of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, unto eternal life, man. All right? So that's our only mind state right about now. Let the mockers scoff. You know what I'm saying? Let the mockers and scoffers and the, and the non believers say whatever they want to say because all the non believers shall die. You know? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Just keep building our faith up through the spirit of your high by Chanel Shai. Your mockers going to come. Scoffers going to come. Look, death and wrath going to come too. Shalom.